you know, what I'm fixing to share with y'all is one of those dishes that you have to have at Thanksgiving, but it's probably the biggest leftover of anything that you've done, and that's cranberry sauce. Now, I happen to love a bite of cranberry sauce along with my cornbread dressing and my turkey, but uh, I've noticed that most of my family does not eat it, and that's okay, but I still got to have it. So this is a way to just, you know, doctor it up a little bit, make it look like you spent some time on it. I don't know about this cranberry. It feels a little soft. I'm going to throw him out. But it's important that you wash your cranberries. Uh, and it'll tell you on the bag, be sure and wash your cranberries. Uh, so I've got one bag of cranberries. I think I have three-fourths of a cup of sugar. And I have mandarin oranges. And we're going to need a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're going to let this cook for a while until the cranberries burst and starts to get real thick. And then we're going to, you definitely want to do this one the day before the meal, okay? Um, you don't want to do it that morning. Because you want it to be nice and chilled. Okay, I've got my mandarin oranges. I'm going to throw in there. And we're going to keep this stirred up, you know, pretty good. Using this small pot, at least y'all can see over in it, can't you? Eddie? Yes. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to dip your head down in it. All right, I. I think I wound up cooking this, took maybe 15 or 20 minutes over medium heat, medium to low heat. Once it starts bubbling and you see the cranberries starting to burst. This is so good, y'all. And you couldn't see the mandarin oranges absolutely cook away to nothing. So Eddie suggested, what, he said, we got an orange. Why don't you, uh, why don't you just put a little orange in it? I said, way to go, because the mandarin orange was so pretty in it until it, you know, got cooked out. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to stir it in there while it's hot. And they'll probably break down a good bit more, but it's just pretty in there. And the cinnamon, the little taste of cinnamon in it is delicious. So, uh, if you wind up with a lot of leftovers, I'll share a few ways to use this up with. It's delicious dolloped on a bowl of ice cream uh, for a more healthy breakfast. Uh, a dollop of this on some Greek yogurt, um, on a block of cream cheese uh, as an appetizer along with crackers. Turkey sandwich. A what? Tur turkey turkey sandwich. sandwich. Absolutely. A lot of us around here like cranberry sauce on our turkey sandwich, and it's very, very good. But uh, So that's just a few ways that you can, you know, make use of your leftovers here. Let's see, I think that's ice cream, yogurt. Um, I was thinking about several, several things. Uh, just put it on toast. Oh, yes, just <laughs> on toast. Uh, you know what else? It would be delicious on Eddie. A baked sweet potato. Mm -hmm. It would be so good. So you'll find ways to use this up. Mm. And see how the cranberries bursted? They burst. Is bursted a word? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. 
It's amazing what that little bit of cinnamon does to it. You wonder, like, what was that I just tasted? What you just tasted is called good. <laughs> Love and best dishes. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.